All right, so this is the latest information on our chips melting, is it? Well, I see the problem here. You've given me the intel. Hi, I'm Sam Tucker from AMD. And you may have seen some photos recently on Reddit of our X3D computer chips getting hot and becoming more like a fresh bag of McCain's oven chips. Ah, McCain, <laughs> you've done it again. Now, this is apparently due to some of the pins supplying a little too much power to the chip's cores. And as you know, if you supply just the right amount of power to your cores, then you get sweet, smooth abs. However, apply that power incorrectly and it could melt your face. This is definitely fun. It feels like my heart is beating in my face. And then you'd have to ask for a refund. <laughs> and we're not about that. Luckily, there are some solutions in the works though. Like MSI are releasing a firmware update to their motherboards so that it will only be possible to use negative offset voltages. Now, negative voltages, of course, means that the chip gives the computer power and you no longer have to plug it in. What a great feature. Now, as far as solutions that you could implement, some have posted photos showing that fan cooling isn't quite enough to resolve the issue. Though, this photo clearly shows the inside of a 1998 Toyota Avalon. Fan belt, radiator, hubcap, get out of here. Some have suggested water cooling instead. However, the water jet channel has shown that providing enough coolant to cool down these chips will also cut your computer in half. Although on the flip side, it'll taste delicious. Again, just like those chips. Subscribe today. So that it'll only be, po okay. So that it'll, okay. So that it'll, oh uh, there. So that it'll, Okay, num, num, num. Now, negative voltages, of course, means that the chip gives the computer powder. 